Greetings everybody on the morning of the early morning of April 17th, Saturday from Rockwall, Texas. I-30. And uh, just on the other side of a lake, on the east side of a lake, not sure which one it is. Kind of a big one it looks like. And I'm going to be heading through, it looks like, Texarkana, which I got to love. Uh, for our Credence Clearwater Revival fans out there, which you know I am. Um, Going to head through there to start the journey. The long journey today over the weekend to get to Pennsylvania is going to be a, a long one. Starting out in the early morning, the quiet hours of the morning here, still trying to wake up as you can tell. Just wanted to make a quick little message here for everybody. Um, find the Blue Ninja, fellow apostle for white well-being. All my best and warmest greetings to each and every one of you, of course. All my love, support, appreciation, admiration, and respect. Always, each and every one of you. Um... And uh, really thank you all for everything you're doing, all the support that you give me. We support each other, and that's essential, as we know. Um, I just saw a video that I haven't got a chance to watch yet, but I noticed Irish Ice just put up a video about on the Tucker Carlson show on Fox the word anti-white being used, it, it, it sounds like, um, from the title of Irish Ice's The Great Hero Champion Warriors video there, it sounds like uh, the word anti-white anti might have been used on Fox, possibly, I don't know, <clears throat> but no doubt what they were talking about is anti-white, it was about Biden, Biden's ambassador or something. Um, and talking about Al Sharpton, of course, that's, we know where that's going, that's totally anti-white. Now, first of all, thank you, Irish Ice, I just noticed your comment about, uh, my last video, I think, thank you, that was a pleasure to watch, thank you so much, my dear brother, love you so much, Irish Ice, Irish Ice. Can't mention everyone, uh, right now I'm gonna try to keep this one relatively short so I can get going um, but just made me think of another thing I saw recently about apparently Russia taking notice of the anti-whiteism I saw something where uh, a little news story where Russia was saying that the anti-white aggression and it is definitely aggression they are aggressing on us very much so they were saying it's getting out of hand. It's it is very out of hand. I mean, it's it's been out of hand for a long time, but now it's like really to the point of complete psychosis by the leaders of the West. I mean, they are just like it's just like what? It's a nightmare to think that we could have leaders actually in power that are that immature for one thing. Um, to be that, to be that anti-white, it's a, it's a crazy clown world, demon world, uh, type of thing to have happen. So, it's hard to believe unless we're living in it. But, Russia's taking notice, apparently, and, you know, more and more... Of the mainstream people are taking notice and um, that's a good thing of course <clears throat> so uh, slowly and surely we step along on this journey this long journey to um, lead our people to safety and prosperity once again and get into a better state as white people as Western kind um, Slowly but surely, we step forward and press on. 
Now, looking down at some notes here <clears throat> to help me this morning. <laughs> um, and uh, one thing I was meaning to mention on previous videos is um, talking about talking about mental illness <laughs> and we know there's a lot of that nowadays and rest assured that that has been done on purpose our people would not be so mentally sick if it wasn't for the completely sick and inhumane conditions that we're living in no group of people can be healthy living through what we're living through um, to have a people that is totally hated by society, openly hated, and, and that hate for us is celebrated. Our demise is celebrated and is considered okay, completely okay and acceptable, and even, even kind of the law of the land and the religion of the land, so to speak, to hate us white people. For that group of people, us, the victims, it is... You know, there's going to be all sorts of problems. And, you know, our people, any people exposed to that are going to be very unhealthy in many, many ways. And especially psychologically. So that's, <clears throat> that's just expected, of course. That's the way we humans are. We're social animals, social beings, social creatures, you could say. Um, and we cannot live in a society and be anywhere near healthy if the society hates us so much <laughs> and expresses that hatred. Um, I don't think most people really do, but it, there's just the pressure coming down from the anti-whites in power to, to make that sort of the, uh, sort of the religion of the land, um, as sick as that is. So it is completely by design, completely done on purpose, that, that we whites have been made to be, have lots of mental issues. Now, <clears throat> as a whole, it's amazing that we're doing, th that we've come, come this far and hanging on and doing this as well as we are considering. It's absolutely nothing short of a miracle by the good Lord himself, I think. Uh, so, <clears throat> but the point I wanted to make was something that Philosophicat, the uh, great and wonderful um, young lady in our in the white positive sphere, uh, a lot of you will probably know her, Philosophicat. Um, she's done, she does lots of good stuff for white well-being, and <clears throat> she made a comment. She makes a lot of tweets on Twitter. Very interesting, I think. She made one saying that she works with uh, teenagers and that a lot of the teenage girls literally brag about their mental illnesses and they talk about you know probably all kinds of mental illnesses she says they literally brag about them and she said she wished she was joking that <clears throat> um, that that is the truth. They really do <laughs> think that it's a cool thing somehow to have these mental, mental issues. And um, so I just wanted to say about that that <clears throat> that that is no accident. It's no accident that young people especially have lots of mental issues and it's no accident at all that young people, uh, young whites especially nowadays, are bragging about their mental issues. That is no accident at all. That is, as we can all probably know, that is completely by plan, by design. <clears throat> Uh, because, and we've noticed this recently, there is a push to celebrate mental illness. <laughs> there is a 
there's been stuff about you know autism that we've seen anxiety depression um, you name it on the whole uh, gamut of severity there's been lots of stuff that sort of kind of glorifies and gives a lot of attention to these these mental illnesses a lot of that I think is just they're, they're not really as significant as they make them out to be they want to give the illusion that they're some of these things are more prevalent in society than they really are it's the placebo effect you think oh my gosh am I this or am I that they're putting the idea in people's heads when I don't think people have a lot of these things <laughs> but so but that's the reason why people think it's cool nowadays to talk about having anxiety oh I have anxiety I have this I have that as if it's something to brag about that happens all in my opinion as a direct result of it being pushed and glorified in society and the media um, so massive push for disabilities celebrating those especially mentally and how have those mental illnesses whether they're real or not come about from the anti-whites they cause them and then, then they celebrate them so it's they're obviously the sick ones um, trying to push their illnesses on us and blame us for everything as usual certain group of people especially as we know that are extremely anti-white and I wanted to also say that men and women the relationship between men and women obviously has been extremely very damaged for us white people I know that very personally well and it's a very sore spot for me I and I'm sure a lot of us do how grievously bad the the situation between white men and women are in general um, all that been done on purpose one of the most heinous things I think ever been done because it causes it's caused me so much personal heartache and grief and I know it has for a lot of people um, and <clears throat> it's actually caused me trauma and uh, I, I know it has for a lot of people too so this this kind of stuff the damage can be very extreme um, and this is this is just <clears throat> one of the most horrible things I think the anti-whites have, have done uh, and <clears throat> specifically I want to just mention that <clears throat> We whites have been, um, because of all that damage between the male-female relations of whites, um, <clears throat> essentially, I think we have been, we have been led, um, And, and coerced you might say to to going after uh, mates who are not good mates <laughs> uh, and this is something I've discovered in recent times is that <clears throat> we have so many issues as whites with, with male female relations and it, and it obviously causes problems causes a lot of pain a lot of heartache a lot of grief a lot of trauma and so over time I think what happens is when people have all that those bad experiences and, and the trauma and the wounds that result the damage that happens I think is it leads it's it's a cycle it's a downward cycle and the more someone is harmed with emotionally and psychologically with relationships I think it can often lead to them making bad decisions in the future 
uh, and it leads us whites to go after and desire and think that we want bad mates, mates that are poor selections. <laughs> Uh, so I think what has happened there is it has made white women go after the wrong kind of men. It's also made white men go after the wrong kind of women. <clears throat> or maybe fall for the wrong kind of women and vice versa. So it's created these psychological um, susceptibilities, I think. Uh, you know, from could be poor self-esteem or a number of things that could cause someone to fall prey to maybe thinking they want a mate that's really not good for them. So uh, that's another result of glorifying these mental issues. <laughs> I think, oh, that's, that's somehow good, or maybe we can... You know, make that work somehow with a mate. And <clears throat> I think y'all see what I'm trying to say. Kind of <laughs> fumbling here in the morning. But um, I think you see what I'm trying to say. Basically, I think it has, these, these issues have just made us think that we are attracted to uh, people who are not really good mates. Definitely not good mates for us as individuals a lot of the time. So it, it's made us want and, and go after the wrong kind of a mate. Um, people that have issues, people that are not gonna ultimately, you know, be able to have good relationships with us. <clears throat> So, and again, this has happened for men and women. Both men and women go after the wrong kind of mates, especially whites, as we know, all done on purpose because of all the pathogens that have been put in our heads and the damage that results um, oftentimes from other whites. <clears throat> um, and then what happens is there's this false image of the mate that, that that a white person is after that they think that's what they want but it's not good <laughs> it's not going to be good for them it's not really a good mate it's really not good at all so it has totally skewed our view and our ability to discern really what is what are good qualities in a mate and Instead of looking at the good and wholesome things and really wanting that, we end up going after things that are that 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 lead to issues and don't really work. Um, we've been led to essentially go after things that that are dead ends. So what we need to do, and I see this in myself for sure. Um, I know a lot of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, so we need to realign ourselves so that and reopen ourselves to to really thinking about what is a good mate and really trying to get ourselves to actually want that to actually pursue what is truly a good good traits in a mate. Um, so think about that everyone. I, I think you all see what I'm saying, but there, there are things that people that would be really good mates, for example, I see in myself, I've looked at them and some women that really would be very good uh, wives, probably, and I've sometimes overlooked women like that because of my own 
misguidance. <clears throat> um, and I can see that now. That <clears throat> I passed over those traits that were in a woman that were truly good. Truly good and wholesome. So we need to just totally reevaluate. I think, what are good traits in a mate for both men and women? We've been led so far astray that we don't even know it. And we need to try to get ourselves to be in line, on track with actually wanting what's good. For example, we should want someone who is stable. <laughs> Mentally, emotionally. Uh, you know, we should want someone who is supportive. Someone who is, uh, you know, reliable. And, um, you know, um, dedicated and committed to a relationship and so forth. So these things uh, we've been led away from, whether we realize it or not, and we need to go back to wanting what is, what is wholesome and good, you know, something that will lead to stable families. Now, we've been conditioned, whether you realize it or not, not to want that. You know, we've been conditioned to want to think that that's boring or something. Go after something more exciting. I'm sure those mental issues, basically. And it could be exciting for a little bit, but then there will be a hard fall. <laughs> I've learned that a few times, that there will be a very, very, very hard fall. And it's not worth it at all. Not worth it. You may have some high times there in the beginning, but it, the lows will far, far um, outseed any any highs that you may have in the beginning. So <clears throat> we need to get out of that mentality and just go for stability. Go after what will lead to just stable relationships, stability in ourselves, and then ultimately stable families. That's what produces the families. You have to have that stability, that commitment in a relationship and marriage really to have kids to have a family that's what it's all about so that's why we've been harmed and that's why we need to get back to that realign ourselves to really think about what what do I think I am attracted to in a mate what should I be attracted to and try to be open realign ourselves with that and it takes um, the power of God I think to do this so I'll end it there as I see the sun just starting to just starting to peek out now. So <clears throat> time for me to get moving here. I wish all of you a good morning and a good day, of course. I love you all. God bless each and every one of you. Stay white proud, white strong, white protective, as the great Irish Ice would say. Highlight him today. And Stay white proud. Let's carry on to the promised land of the West where we can be safe and prosper once again. Amen and amen and hallelujah.